Hey guys, hope you're all doing just fine today. Uh, I'm creating a special yoga practice, uh, one that will help you aid in digestion as now we're approaching these holiday seasons and we all love to hang out with friends, uh, have a good time. That also means eating a lot of food at times and also drinking a lot of beverages. So at times we will have a hard time digesting our foods and our beverages. So this practice is made specifically to help in the aid of digestion, okay? So what you'll need uh, is a blanket, some blocks, your yoga mat, and a happy attitude. All right, so as we get started here, I want you to stay in a nice, comfortable position, seated position, whether it's on the ground, on blocks, and you can sit how I am with one foot in front of the other. You can sit cross ankles, whatever is comfortable for you. But we'll lengthen up through the spine, and I just want you to bring your hand to your heart and a hand to the belly, okay? And as we begin to inhale, I want you to bring your focus to the belly and just feel the belly inflating like a balloon. Breathing in, pausing for a moment at the peak of inhalation, holding that breath there, and then exhale, feel that belly, and that belly button pressing towards the back of your body. And once you exhale everything out, pause for a moment, and then inhale again. Feel the air coming into the diaphragm there. Pausing for a moment again, that peak of inhalation, hold the breath in, and then exhaling, feel all the air leaving the belly button, pressing towards the spine. And the next time when we inhale, feel the air, yes, inflating here in that diaphragm, like a balloon, but then feel the air begin to lift up to the lower ribs and all the way up to the upper lungs here where, where the other hand is resting. Pause at the peak there of inhalation. Hold, and then exhaling everything out. And as you're exhaling out, you feel the air leaving those upper lungs from the lower ribs all the way down to the diaphragm, belly button towards spine. And I want you just to repeat here this little three-part breath from the diaphragm to lower ribs to the upper lungs. And whenever you get to the peak of inhalation, hold for a moment. And then as you're exhaling, let everything go and then hold for a moment too before you take the next inhalation. The reason why we're doing a little breathing here before we get started is that's really going to help kick in your parasympathetic nervous system. Again, that helps fight off the fight or flight response, right? And when we're feeling that fight or flight response, especially during the holidays, we have extra stress, this affects our digestive tract. So getting the mind to settle down, to get the lungs to work, help the circulatory system begin to function here at a higher rate. will allow you to then have better digestion. Let's do one more breath in. One more breath out. And then we're all gonna come down onto our mats in a table position for a little cow and cat. All right, let's have those hands below the shoulders, knees, hip width apart, feet also in line with the hips. Let's inhale, bend the elbow slightly, then we'll begin to lift the tailbone, lift the sternum, push the ground away, lift the heart up, coming to your peak of inhalation. And then as we exhale, bend those elbows slightly, lengthen your tailbone, push the other way, arch the spine, chin to chest, to cat. And I want you just to repeat here, doing cow and cat. Again, this is really nice here too to help digestion as we are opening up through the belly with that cow stretch. And as we're doing that cat, you know, you're bringing your belly button towards spines, so you're squeezing the intestines, that deep core. 
and allowing it to open up again. So helping just to get the circulation and the movement of the digestive system. Do it one more time through cow, head to cat, slide back into table, tuck under the toes, and we're heading back to downward facing dog. We'll leave the down dog, begin to pedal your feet. And then we can even add in there a little twisted dog, and this is really nice again to help open the sides of the body, but the little twisting is good for, you know, lats, obliques, but then getting into that digestive tract. So pause at center for a moment, bend your elbows and knees, turn your knees to the left, your heels are going to turn to the right, and then I want you to push the ground away, strengthen your arms, lift the hips, straighten out that left leg, keep your right knee bent, and bump that left hip and glute up and back. That way we get this nice opening through those lats and obliques, down through the IT band too. So if you like to run and do all those other activities, that'll help there. But again, that's just nice to help open up the space to the side of the body. So there's a little bit more room for you know the you know the digestive tract to work. Good. Now come back to center. We inhale, bend the elbows and knees. So we exhale. We're going to turn these now to the right. Heels left. Then push the earth away, straighten your arms, lift your hips, straighten that right leg, keep the left knee bent, bump that right glute back and up. Wonderful. Good, and then we come back to center, and I want you to lift that left leg up in the air for a three-legged dog, point those left toes towards the ground. As we exhale, we're stepping that left foot forward. If that's too hard for you to bring that leg forward, come down to table and work from table. You can have your blocks close by, pushing the earth away, and then we're all going to slowly come up to standing. So you need a little support, bring your right foot in closer, bend the right knee and slowly roll it up, one vertebra at a time. If you're a little more advanced, you can have the leg straight back, press through the heel, and rise here. Good. Bring your hands on the hips for a sec. Lengthen your tailbone. Zip up that core. Lift your sternum, okay? Do a little back bend here. Those hands on the hips to support you. Keep lengthening your tailbone. Work the shoulder together. Open to your chest. Those back bends are nice to open through the thyroid, down through the belly there to help with that digestion. And then bring your torso back to center. We'll take our arms straight out in front of us. Thumbs up, you can press down through that right heel. Let's inhale, exhale out, and then inhale, let's twist to the left, a little wide arm twisted warrior. Work the shoulder blades together, opening up. Then exhale, come back to center. Let's repeat that. Inhale, let's open up to the left. Exhale, back to center. Let's do it one more time. Opening up here to the left, we're going to pause, feel those thighs work together. If you need to modify, come on down onto your right knee. Breathe in and out, work your legs together. Let everything out as you're breathing in and out, as you're exhaling really. All that air out. And then we're going to take that left hand to our lower back. Lift up through that right arm, pull the right thumb up, lift up out of your pelvis. Your chest can turn back to the front if you need to. Otherwise, keep your chest rotating to the left. Little modified reverse warrior, lift up out of your pelvis. And then as we exhale, we're gonna release out, back to a runner stretch. And I want you to step back into plank. Okay, back to plank, and then we're gonna come all the way down onto the belly. So slowly drop down if you need to bring the knees down, come all the way down. It's gonna flip around, face the other way. So when we get to our twist on the other side, we're ready to roll. Feet down, length of the tailbone, press pelvis down, hands on the shoulders. Everybody in the else, wave up into Cobra. If you're a little weak in the spine and the back, stay lower. Otherwise, try and lift up as high as you can, hug those elbows in, shoulder blades down your back. Open up the belly. Exhale, release down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, waving up in the cobra. Waving down. 
One more time. Wave up. Let's pause for a moment. And opening up the chest, the belly, and then release. Good. And we're going to head back to down dog now. So either come up to table, you can do another cobra, or keep your toes pointed. Press yourself up to a pointed toe plank. Zip that core. Head back into that downward facing dog. Good. Okay, we're going to chain sides. So we're going to bring our right leg forward. So you need to modify. Come down to table. Bring the right foot forward. Or lift the right leg up in the air. Three-legged dog. Those right toes point towards the earth. And then we step forward with that right foot. Making sure the right knee is not going past that ankle. Push the earth away. And we're going to go up to standing, okay? So if you need to bend that left knee as you come up, do it. Otherwise, press through that left heel and rise up. We're going to bring our hands on our hips, okay? We're going to lengthen our tailbone, lift up out of our pelvis, lift our sternum, feel the shoulders work together, and then do just a little back bend. If you have a hard time with balance, you can always stay up high on the balls of that left foot or come down on your left knee. Good, we'll inhale, exhale, square of our torso again. Arms are gonna come right out in front of us, shoulder height. We're gonna do three wide arm twisted warriors to the right. So we're exhaling out, and then inhale, we rotate and twist right. Good, exhale, we're coming back home. And repeating, inhale, opening. Exhaling back home. Last one, we open up and we hold in our wide arm twisted warrior. Lift up out of our pelvis. Breathe, feel those shoulder blades work together. Good, and then we're gonna take that right hand to our lower back. Either keep your torso twisted to the right or square it back up to the center. We're gonna lift up with that left arm, pull the left thumb up and back, lift up out of your pelvis, that modified reverse warrior here. Breathe. And then as we exhale, we're gonna release out, back to our runner stretch, and then we all step back to plank. And then everybody, Drop the knees and come on back into a child's pose. If it's too uncomfortable in child's pose with the legs close together, separate the legs more, create a little extra space. And then as you're holding here, if it's comfortable, you can take your hands, make little fists, take them to the abdomen, and then just begin to massage into that area. We just get a little bit more of the blood flowing in that abdominal region. Good. And then we'll slowly inhale, we'll peel ourselves up. Okay. And then from here, we'll begin to lift up through the torso and we're gonna kneel. And if you'd like to, you can turn sideways like I am on my mat, especially if the feet are gonna be a little sensitive, as we're gonna work into a little gate pose right on the right and left side. So you might need a block on the other side, so just have them close by. But you're gonna feel that left leg press down. And if your left knee is sensitive, put a blanket underneath the knee. We're gonna take our right leg forward, and then take the right leg and slide it out to the side. We'll flex the foot, the toes are pointing up. And then having a block, a block could go on the inside or the outside of your leg, depending on balance. And we'll want that left hip right above the left knee, 
Start with the left hand on your hip. Take your right hand, we're gonna slide it down that right leg, okay? And depending on how you're feeling in those lats and obliques, you'll only possibly go so far and stop. And then keep your hand on your hip, opening your chest up towards the ceiling, or extend the left arm up overhead and reach your left fingers for the right side of the room. Some of us might go again deeper in, and you might keep your hand on your block, whether it's on the outside or on the inside of your leg. Let's work on straightening that left elbow, rotating your chest up towards the ceiling. Good. And then everyone slowly rise up. Releasing out. And we're changing sides here. Bring our right leg in, squaring ourselves up. We'll take that left leg out to the side, right? And we're gonna keep that right knee pressing down. Have your prop wherever you need it, okay? Left toes are pointing up, and make sure your left foot's not going behind your hip, okay? So either square it over the hip or a little in front of your hip. Bring in our right hand on our hip, our chest is square to the front. Left hand can slide down the left leg and find your working position today. Pausing, opening up your chest. If your right shoulder bows, you keep your right hand on your hip. Or extend the right arm up. Frame your head. Straighten that elbow. Reach your fingers for the left side of the room. Left heel's pressing into the ground. And we're rotating our torso up towards the ceiling. Get that little rotation. Good for lateral obliques. But again, we're opening up to the side so we can have more room for that digestive tract to work. Feel that right foot, knee press down. Good. And then we'll inhale, we'll come up. Gently releasing out. Back into our kneeling position. Grab your block. We're going to put our block right between the ankle bones, okay? Like this, be tall, block in, or you can have it flipped over. At that size, we're going to squeeze that block in here between those ankle bones, all right? Thighs are parallel and square. We're coming into a little half camel pose. So I want you to go and take your right hand right to the lower back, support the lower back, and begin to lengthen your tailbone. Tuck under your pubic bone and press your thigh bones forward. Lift your sternum. Have that left hand, in fact, at that thumb, at that sternum. Lift your heart, squeeze your block between the ankle bones. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna slowly come back to our back bend. Lifting up through the front of the body, lengthen through the back of the body, thigh bones pressing forward. Press your block with the ankle bones. Either keep your left hand here at the heart or lift the left arm up, thumb pulling back and keep the sternum lifting, thigh bones pressing forward, breathing in and out. Good. Use your core strength and squeeze your block between the ankles, slowly rise. Gently release out. Switch hands, left hand to the lower back supporting you. Keep lengthening your tailbone, tucking under your pubic bone, thigh bones pressing forward, lightly hugging in, squeeze your block between the ankle bones. Right thumb to the sternum, lift it up, inhale, exhale, we come back. Notice how far you can go back on this side, support yourself, right? Maybe you're a little tight in that left shoulder, don't go as too deep if it's telling you not to. Either keep the right hand of the heart or extend that right arm up. Reach the fingers back. Keep lifting up to the pelvis and the heart. Thigh bones forward. Breathe. Squeeze your block between the ankle bones. Glutes are engaged. Good. And then inhale and come up. Exhale, releasing out. Release the block. And then everybody come on back into a child's pose. 
You get that nice release for the lower back. Getting the flexion versus having that extension in. Good. And then we'll inhale. We'll come up to table. And we're all going to come to sit down on our sits bone. So if you need to sit on a block, sit on a block or a blanket. And then we're going to take our left leg and it's going to come under the right leg and our left heel is coming towards the right glute. The right leg is going to come up and over and we're going to press the whole right foot into the ground. So under the big toe, pinky toe on either side of your heel into the earth, right knee is pointing towards the ceiling and we're sitting tall. If this hurts your left knee too much, extend your left leg, keep your foot flexed and have the right leg over like this, okay? So support yourself with what you need. Find your other block and put it right outside that right hip and glute. Lift your sternum. Let's hug that right knee with our left arm. Take the knee towards the armpit. We'll inhale, lift up. As we exhale now, boom, we're twisting to the right. The right hand can come onto our block, right? It might come onto the ground, but keep your shoulders square and put a little micro bend in that elbow. Press your arm bone back in your shoulder socket. Lift up to the sternum. Soft gaze to the right as we're twisting into the right. Notice if your breathing is, you know, staggered or if you're struggling here to breathe. If, it, if you are, then come out of the twist a little bit or make sure you're sitting nice and tall. So you're not compressing those lungs with those ribs. Okay, then everybody inhale, come out just a little bit. And then exhale, can we go in a little deeper? Pause here and breathe. One more breath in, and then as we exhale, we come out, we release the legs, shake them off if you need to, and then we're changing sides. Right leg under, left leg up and over. The whole left foot touches the ground, so the big toe, pinky toe, either side of your heel, left knee's pointing directly towards the ceiling. Straighten out your right leg if that hurts the right knee. Your block is on the outside of that left hip glute. Let's hug. Left knee, that right arm, keep the knee towards that armpit, lift the stern, inhale, exhale, boom, we twist to the left. Little micro bend in your left elbow. Press the arm bone back in your shoulder socket. Sit tall. Don't collapse in your spine. Soft gaze here to the left or close your eyes. Breathe in and out. And then I want you to inhale, come out of your twist just a little bit. And then exhale, twist deeper. Another deep breath in. And then as we exhale, releasing out of our twist, releasing our legs. And then either come onto your back to release here for a little relaxation, or if you're close to a wall, or if you can't get up and head to a wall, we're gonna go legs up the wall, and this is just great recovery for our legs. But again, we're bringing, we're reversing that flow. It helps that parasympathetic nervous system really kick in, which again helps in the aid of digestion. It's just a great way to help calm yourself down, especially during the stressful time of the holidays. 
So you might need your props here, blankets, blocks, and we'll come to a wall, getting our right side of the body close to the wall. You can lean back and the right arm can come behind you and then kick the legs up. And we're trying to have our glutes and legs touch the wall. Okay, if you're a little way, it's okay. Now for some of us, this will be great. We'll just release here, palms face up. Some of us though, if we want a little bit more support, this could feel really good too, is taking a block or a blanket and putting it underneath the hips and the lower back. And you get this extra little lift here to support more circulation down through the digestive system to the heart and to the brain. If you're gonna be a little chilly, take your blanket, unfold it, wrap yourself up with it. Or you can always put the blanket under the head for a little support there. We'll go palms up. Shift low on your body, let everything go. And let the breath become shallow. And I want you to stay here for a good five minutes if possible. Just letting the mind become settled. Allowing yourself to simply let go. So we're going to stay here for a little bit, but I Appreciate all of you for tuning in, for all of your supports. Happy holidays. Happy digestion. We'll see you guys soon. Namaste.